We talking about stuff that stands out. The fact that what what we think about Marcus Smart and, and his relationship to the Grizzlies and what the actual real story is, like we're so far <laughs> away from each other. And so many people just <laughs> oh, boy. walk back those talks, bro. Because I'm like, bro, it's it's like, and, and I'm one of the people who you know you you hear things about Marcus Smart, right? And it's like, boy. but the way that people were stressing out, and shout out to my boy Parker Van Blaricom who came up with <laughs> Marcus Smart. Conspiracy, conspiracy. In, in, in several parts, right? The several part, multi <laughs> multi layer conspiracy. He came up about Marcus Smart, right? And it's so crazy because people are saying things like, "Um, <laughs> well, you know, we ain't seen Marcus Smart. We ain't seen nobody. Like we, we <laughs> saw him. Like, like, the, <laughs> the rest of the dudes on the team, we ain't really seen these dudes, bro. Like we ain't seen them do nothing. We saw Luke Kennard wearing grizzly clothes as a free I agent. I saw Luke Kennard playing golf. Right, we like, ain't seen these dudes, bro. And like, here, here's something people have to understand about Marcus Smart, <laughs> just about the NBA and about the Grizzlies. Boy. A lot of times, as Grizzlies fans, the Grizzlies are the only team that we have really close access to, right, and that we really right. pay attention to. But this is this is what we have to understand: the guys all getting together and and practicing during the summer and all those type of things. Those things are really dope, but those things aren't mandatory, and there's nothing making them come do that. That's part of those guys all coming into the same system together. There's a lot of things about the Grizzlies that are very unique. We are a team that most of the guys on this team were drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. And these guys all came under the big brotherhood of Jaron, Ja, Desmond Bain, right? Those, everybody who's on right. this team pretty much came in under that, those three guys. So they were born into it. They were brought into the NBA under a culture of during the summertime, we come up here a few, few weeks early, we work out. We do our thing. We're the get along gang, Grizzlies. This is what we do. Marcus Smart was not drafted into that, right? right? He played a long time in the NBA on his own for Boston, and he's probably like, "Hey, that's cool, man." But I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all at media day. <laughs> like, and also, also to that point, Marcus Smart came up the same way the Grizzlies came up in Boston. He came Boston. up with Jason Taylor and Jaden Brown. He, yeah, he's like, man, like, and it, it's it's okay to have an outsider, bro. It's out. It's yeah. okay to have a guy that ain't really a part of what those other guys are a part of that came from a different culture. And, and in our time in this grid and grind, I mean, in this grid's next gen era, there haven't been any of, if, if many of any outside guys, like you had your Luke Canards who's part of that system. Derrick Rose came in from the outside. Um, I mean, he's part of, he's not part of the system. Derrick Rose came in from the outside, but you're talking about a way bigger personality type dude than Marcus Smart, right? And mm -hmm. I think to, to assume he's going to come in and just be like, hey, I'm just going to be one of the guys. He could be, but he don't have to be. And that's fine, bro. Like, it's fine. Right. It's fine that he lives his life where he, wherever, wherever he lives in the offseason. And he shows up at the doorstep immediately, like, all right, bros, let's go. And then we find out that he mm -hmm. wasn't even doing that. He was working he was out with uh, working out. Was that he? Like, bro, like... <laughs> And I didn't even know the dude had a baby on the way, bro. Like, bro, we were really stressing about right. Marcus, what you doing? Like, they don't even, they don't even fool because like that. Like, bro, it's okay that fam does his thing somewhere else. Like, it's okay that he uh, lives life outside of Memphis during the summertime, and he shows up when he shows up. And like, and and he seemed very optimistic, and he seems like he's really going to be a very uh, crucial part of this team. Now, do I see? A, do I? Can I see a timeline where Marcus Smart is traded before the season is over? Yes, absolutely. I yeah. I, and, and if you had a gun yeah. to my head, I probably predict that would happen. That they're probably going to try to move Marcus Smart. But um, while he's here, man, I think he's going to be a great player, and I think we didn't really see much of Marcus Smart at all mm -hmm. last year. But you're talking about a, one, a very good player in the NBA, and I think he's going to help this team tremendously. Um, I don't. Um, like, yeah, Vince Williams, GG, sure, cool. Those guys are going to do their thing too. But Marcus Smart is going to be, you know, incredible for this team.